cheesy nacho pretzel dog. I'm starting with these beautiful pretzel rolls. You get them at the store. All right, these are the uh, hot dog pretzel buns. And I know Josh was saying, I'm a firm believer in buttering, griddling, toasting your bread, right? Reactivating it, getting that beautiful golden brown color, texture on it. But for a ballpark dog, nothing like setting up your steamer here and doing a little right. steamer basket or a, a double boiler and just making it pillowy soft. So we're going to keep this off the heat, nice and steamed. And let's start on our cheese sauce. This is such a quick and easy cheese sauce. And my secret ingredient is, don't tell nobody, evaporated milk. So we're not even making a, a, a roux, a bechamel, nothing. You're starting with a can of evaporated milk. And what that does is kind of homogenize everything a little more easier, super quick, and you don't need the butter and the flour to start with. I threw a little bit of lager in there, something light. It's kind of simmered it up, cooked out that alcohol, and this is ready, seriously, to build flavors on. So easy. I throw a little Worcestershire in there. Nice. Couple dashes of hot sauce, if you want, if not, and then some Dijon. And that's literally like kind of the flavor base of it's this like before Gevel, we add the it's cheese. It's like Gevel cheese sauce. Exactly. Now you get to have fun with experimenting with whatever cheese you want. I'm a firm believer in using something sharp, something gooey, and something processed cheese food. Okay, so in here we <laughs> have, um, and you know what I mean by that, good old American sure. cheese slice. American the cheese. Dump. That's right. Gives it. Mm -hmm. So we're going to add a little cornstarch. Now, I, for this cheese sauce to work perfectly, you want to grate your own cheese from the block because it doesn't have the yeah. anti-caking agents in it. So just put about a teaspoon, half a teaspoon, depending on how about eight ounces of each cheese shredded from the block. We're going to mix it with a little cornstarch to give it a little, you know, little help when you're, uh, you know, thickening it up. Right. And now, once this is simmering a little bit, now we can kind of take it off the heat, shut it down and add all that cheese in there. Now, the beauty of that evaporated milk, it just really s just accepts all that cheese. And Holds it all it together. And it doesn't break like you would a bechamel with a cheddar, right. you know, which is good for about six minutes. And then next thing you know, right, Rach? Right. It's bumpy on your chips. And then that's when you take that processed pasteurized cheese food, either out of the block yes. or right from the deli pack. American cheese. An American, and this has emulsifiers in it as well. Give it a little salt and pepper. And our cheese sauce is like literally done. You'll see it all come together. The cheddar will marry with the pepper jack. We'll marry with the American cheese. So now we got our charred hot dogs. Now you could steam your dogs. You can dirty water dog them. You can fry them, but nothing like a beautiful, Crisp lovely, yeah. crispy Lord. char. And we're going to ladle actually, that. And it's actually hot. <laughs> this is actually hot, yes. Now here are a couple of things I like to add. You could do some pickled jalapenos to get that pickled jalapeno vibe. I'm going to put some of our, of course, yeah. Marl provisions. Jarnera on there that give you it's the only Jarnera with orange habaneros, green serranos, yellow banana peppers, uh, and red jalapenos. So it's got a tri a quadfecta of delicious wow. peppers in there. And then nice. for a little texture, some French fried onions straight out of the canister. Right? Nice. There's nothing wrong with that. And there you have the world. Ain't nothing like the real thing, baby. And you got a whole lot of real flavor going on yeah and it's it's Woo! very uh it's it's easy to do look at that